this video, I'm going to walk you through some steps in creating a complex curved form, and then I will flatten it. Um, I'm going to be making a shape uh, constructed out of circles that I then use the loft command to kind of generate a, a poly surface up. I'm in the large objects um, feet template. Um, it doesn't really matter what scale you make this because it's going to be scaled down to be able to be printed on a on a letter size sheet. So that's not so important. Um, I'm going to double click on the perspective view so that I am uh, creating all of the the images here. I'm doing this work in, in one viewport. And then I'm going to go to the standard tab and begin by making a circle. Um, the radius for my circle is going to be 30 feet. Let's do that again. Circle, center of circle, radius 30 feet. Maybe I already had one there. Yeah, I had two. Okay, so let's get rid of one of them. There's my first circle. And then I'm going to make another one at the same center. I can type in circle or pick the tool. And this one is going to be 40 feet. And then um, I will make a copy of the big one. All right, now I'm going to go back to the four viewports for a minute here. And I want to look at what I've drawn. I'm going to make a copy of this big one. I picked it and type copy. And I'll pick a point in space. Um, ortho is not on, so I'll click on ortho so that object goes upward. And I'm going to place this 45 feet and click to accept that dimension. Okay. So again, these dimensions don't really matter for the purposes of this. Um, so don't feel like you need to, to do them exactly like I'm doing them. And I'm going to click on the inner circle here. And um, this time I'll, I'll work with the gumball, I'll click on the arrowhead, and I'll put 20 feet. Okay, so that's going to lift that up. So here I have these three circles and I'll use the loft command with the loft, one, two, three, enter, and I'll just accept. Do not simplify. Yeah, that's fine. Let's make this shaded so we can see the form a little bit better. Okay, so when I click on it, it tells me that this is a surface. All right, now, the next step is going to be to create a mesh um, from this surface. Now we're not going to cap it so that it's a closed form or anything like that. We're just going to work with this as a surface. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the mesh tools here. Um, I'm looking for the one that allows me to create a mesh from, from surface or poly surface. In my case, it's a surface. I'm going to click on, oops, uh, so here. we want to make sure if it chooses curve, you want to make sure you're going to surface. And then I'm going to left click and see the little mouse buttons there. Okay. So this is giving me some options for generating mesh. All right. It's already been pulled down towards the left here, but just to sort of illustrate what this is about, if I scroll way up here to the top and I preview, you can see it's a very fine mesh. For the purposes of this assignment, that would be um, really difficult. We don't want to have so many little squares on there um, that would just make it impossible to do. So that's why it's been kind of brought down here. If I preview, you can see there's like five divisions vertically, um, and that's going to be a little bit more manageable. And now I'm going to click on OK. OK, so. The surface is still there, um, but I'm going to take this mesh and move it over to the right. I'll keep the, the surface just to kind of have a history of what's going on here. 
All right, so there is my form. And one of the next steps I'll be doing is using a command that allows me to flatten this form into a two-dimensional surface. But um, right now, when I click on it, it says open mesh. And the command that I'm going to use won't let me generate a 2D surface from a mesh. So I've got to take it back to um, a form that it, it had been previously. So I'm going to click on it, and I'm going to go up back to this mesh tab. And in this time, instead of doing a left click, I'm going to right click. And what it's asking me is, you know, so it's allowing me to turn it back into an, a NURBS object, and I'm going to press enter. Okay, so now I've got these two forms on top of one another, and I'll just pull one of them over so it's out of the way. So this was the mesh. So here I've clicked on it and see open mesh. And here I've clicked on it and it's an open poly surface. So this one is one that I should be able to flatten into a 2D form. So before I go any further, I am going to save my file and I'll call it, um, I already had one called Pemacora Compound Curves. I'm gonna call this one, or something like that, just so you can recognize it, the subject and the contents of it. Okay, now what I'm going to do here is use a command called unroll surface. Okay. Again, it has to be a surface for this to work. Click on it, press enter, and you can see it has generated this 2D um, form that I can then print. And I can um, cut out a piece of paper and turn it back into a shape that looks like this. Okay, so that's it for the Rhino portion of this. Um, for printing this, if you go to the print tool um, and from here, I'm going to do this from the top view set and I will make a window around my object and print it. Okay, so it will um, maybe default to a JPEG and that will work fine for what we're doing at this point. But if you're going to print it um, and you aren't unable to print from JPEG, you may have to print again to form a PDF that you can then take to a printer or something. Okay, and you can give it the same name as up here. And that's um, what this assignment entails. Some of those extra letters.